So, top 10 reasons and problems with laptops that I come across all the time when I'm repairing them that, that cause users to have all sorts of grief, which make laptops a bad idea around the home or in the office. Now, unless you have to get work done as you travel, laptops are a bad idea. And I will show you at the end of this video simple ways to avoid all these um, shortfalls and problems with laptops. Even if you think mobility is important to you, like you want to be able to move your computer easily around your home or in your office, there's a thing called wireless display and it is here in a big way now and it's very affordable. But more about that later. Now, these 10 reasons why laptops are a bad idea are not the only problems you can have with laptops. There are many, many more reasons. So let's start there now with uh, number one, the power adapters. So power, power adapter cords get worn over time and the cable breaks, or even worse, supplying intermittent uh, voltages to your laptop, which will destroy components on the systems board. The battery is number two and the maximum capacity for holding a charge decreases over time. So as you use it, you will find yourself keeping it plugged in all the time. It defeats the purpose of a laptop really, doesn't it? So free trial software that's installed on all new laptops. This trial software like security software, media players, PC advisors, all these useless software programs hinder performance and efficiency and slow down your laptop. And if you don't uninstall these bloated free trial softwares, your laptop performance will suffer. So get them off as soon as you purchase a laptop. If you want any kind of um, efficient um, laptop. So number four there is uh, laptops that have disk drives and not solid state drives. So disk drives get corrupted and slow down due to wear and tear and very quickly at that. And usually after about a year, you start to notice that it's, it's becoming slow. And it is the most common problem with laptops, a disk drive. Number five there is uh, the keys on the keyboard break off. This is f a very common problem with, with laptops. Now, number six there, you cannot upgrade a laptop after two years to new technology, meaning the systems board cannot be upgraded to new technology and its performance and efficiency drop off. Because hardware gets old, namely the systems board, and then it slows down due to that fact and it's not efficiently able to utilize new software technology as the laptop becomes a few years old. And also, when new software becomes available for laptops, it may not be able to handle it correctly. Number seven, laptop screens are easily broken and expensive to replace. If the laptop is a few years old, it's harder to get the screens that fit. And they're even more expensive because there are less of them available. Um, number eight there is USB ports get damaged very easily due to wear and tear from constantly plugging devices in and out of them. And there's never enough USB ports on laptops. Number nine, you don't get the operating system on a disc or say a USB stick. So you can't reinstall the operating system, either Windows or Macs, if say the hard drive fails, you're basically out buying a new laptop. And the disk drives, failing disk drives are the number one reason why laptops fail. Number 10 then is you can only get, you only get 12 month warranties with all components and parts that make up the laptop. So these 10 problems, and again, they're, the, they're not the only problems you can have, apply to all laptops from the very expensive laptops to the cheap and chancy ones. So in a few short years, you're out looking for a new laptop, whether it's an expensive one or not, because of one issue or another. And plus the fact that every laptop that you buy 
online or in a local store are at least one year outdated technology. So by the time you buy the laptop in the shop, it is already a year old. One other thing there, uh, once you buy a laptop, you have to install um, all the software that you like to use on it and set it up the way you like it. And this can take a lot of time and effort. So, an easy way to avoid all these problems, wireless desktop. Build the computer yourself or get someone to help you build it. And you will have a computer that is faster at doing everything. Way more powerful and you will avoid all those shortfalls that you will come across with laptops because you can upgrade a wireless desktop very easily or any um, desktop that you build yourself. Even the cheapest um, computer builds are more powerful than all laptops and they can do everything a laptop can do and yes even the mobility. You can use um, wireless displays so you can view and operate throughout your home or office and on and on the go straight from the internet connection through your smartphone uh, etc all the other uh, devices that you can use and team viewer and google gives you this access for free and be able to upgrade the technology with ease every few years without it costing you a small fortune and without all the hassle that you would have with buying a new laptop every few years. So if you need help with any of this, um, I'm available here uh, n nearly 24 seven. Um, if you send me an email, I'll get back to you the following day. If you can just leave a comment here on my YouTube channel or on my website, computerhelpmadeeasy.com. Thanks for watching.